Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to be talking about missing value handling using Pandas. Okay, so at first we just imported our necessary libraries, then our dataset. It's actually a big dataset. We'll talk about it later. At first, we're going to start with a simple one. Yeah, this one. So this is a pretty small dataset. So you can visually see missing values but the first task here is you finding your missing values so what you have to do is df dot is n a is there any missing value so it will it will return you a boolean true false true for yes it's a missing value then dot sum if we want to know how much how many so in a b column we have one missing value and in c column we got two missing value now that we have identified our missing value it's time to replace them or drop them <coughs> okay so pandas contain a very cool function called fill na Oh, sorry drop at first you can drop it drop an a function and if you pass it it will drop your missing values by actually rows any missing value in any column will be dropped by this method by default but you can also pass x is here x is by default is zero if you pass one or column c o l u m n s then it will delete or drop those columns which contains any missing value okay fine and you can also find out associated parameters within this method by just holding shift key and pressing tab now you can see x is which could be 0 or 1 by default it's 0 how we don't need how this threshold threshold is very important we'll see that in a minute subset in place in place is actually for now if you write again df you'll say df is not updated missing value still exist so to modify update it we have to pass in place to true in place true now you see our df is updated cool you can also fill those missing values by fill in a method so that's like df dot fill in a now here you can pass like zero or any number you want or like df dot mean okay now our missing values will be filled by mean of those columns you can also use some methods like MET methods method it could be forward fill or backward fill if fill so now pandas will use the previous value as the valid value to fill that NAND value a missing value okay Okay, there's another function called replace function, which is also pretty useful in handling missing values or replacing any value in your data set. So it's just to be a dot in a replace. Okay, so what do you want to replace? We just want to replace fives by, uh, let's say, zero. See, all five are now turned to zero. There was a five actually. Okay, I'll just see zero zero. 
Okay, that's it. You can also pass multiple values in replace method. Fine. Now let's talk about our large data set. Fine. Here you can see five columns, and if you want to see the length, dev that shape. 1460 rows and 81 columns we have got. Okay, now we want to see missing values of this data set. Div dot is in a dot sum. Fine. Uh, and we want it as percentage format. So we divide them by length of our data set and multiply them by 100 close them in a bracket okay and we also want to sort our values to so sort values yes values by what by ascending false Descending order. Okay. Store it in missing columns variable. MSK. Okay, MSK. Now you can see all missing columns and missing values in percentage format. 47 of the of data is missing 80% of the data is missing for this column fence okay and we can see just first 20 columns okay now you can see a total of 19 columns have missing values while these two four six columns have very high missing values 17% to 99.52% okay so we don't want all missing columns we just need those have exceeded more 10% those who have more than 10% missing values okay so uh, msk is equal to MSK and more than 10. Okay. Now missing columns more than 10 are these columns. We just here created a mask actually. <coughs> and we don't need those columns associated with values, we just need their name index. Okay, fine. Now we want to drop those columns from our data set. So df dot drop drop what? Drop df and pass those column names names msk. Cool. And x is one or column. Same thing. And here you can uh, write in place equal true or just reassign it to new variable or uh, old variable df. Same thing. Now df, let's see. Oops, what happened? Uh, okay, it's okay now. Now df dot shape. Double object. Oh, it's attribute. Seventeen columns. Previously we had eighty-one columns. Now we have seventy-one columns. We have successfully dropped those highly missing value containing columns. Fine. Now we'll talk about threshold method. This threshold parameter is really a excellent one. An excellent one, really. Dave dot and drop n a okay x is is equal one okay, fine. and dhresh 
threshold equal and what does this threshold mean we are here specifying that if you pass two that means keep those columns which have at least two non-missing values non-missing it's not missing it's just opposite non-missing values so previously we did what we dropped those columns which have 10% or more missing values so that is they contain 90% of non missing values okay so there's 1314 non missing values okay now just pass it uh, let's say it's just X and if you see the shape of X what I'm doing it's 17 column see the same thing we did before oh we just again have to run our file because our data set is already dropped those meeting missing values okay now it's fresh one now let's use this one extra drop and see the same thing 75 so you don't have to use you don't have to write these things these are now unnecessary but writing those things are actually good for you because it increases your productivity because some case you don't maybe you don't have such uh, parameters built-in parameters so you have to write or manually replace them so it's good to practice such things other than using just these parameters okay now we have we dropped our unnecessary columns it's it's time to impute or replace missing values so before replacing missing values you have to know why those values are missing and if you have a data set you can see the metadata for the description what does those missing values mean why they are missing actually okay so now let's see our missing columns now I should yes now again if we run it okay. now you can see I'm missing columns garage type here built these are missing now you can drop those all those missing values by just by rows like df dot drop in a okay now you don't have any missing value because you just dropped some columns those and our idf dot is an a dot sum zero 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 you got you got no missing value or you can use some techniques like this garage type garage finish um they, these are integer is sorry string values so you can't use like mean method you can fill them by forward fill or backward fill so you can use these methods for string values or mean for mean mode for integer values that's up to you okay so that's it for now i'll see you in another video Thank you.